This is by far the most fun event I've had at the Jersey Shore in many, many moons. So I wanted to say thank you for coming out this morning. Take a look around at what we can do in such a short period of time at the Jersey Shore. Um, it is a fabulous opportunity to showcase the comeback of the Jersey Shore. Jenkinson's has been the home of um, penguins and alligators and for many, many years, but more importantly, it's been the home of elementary school kids since my now 20-year-old son was old enough to walk. So um, it's been a fabulous New Jersey story, a New Jersey comeback story. So when we had a chance to announce this new marketing campaign, I said, well, we have to go to Jenkinson's. Um, so that's why we're here today. Quite honestly, you have selflessly weathered the storm here at Jenkinson's. I just heard a story about the staff who, while their own homes were at risk, came here and stayed here for eight to 10 days to make sure the animals here were kept and warm and, and safe. And it's a great New Jersey story. I think it is particularly appropriate that we kick off our Show Your Love for the Jersey Shore campaign here at Jenkinson's because it's open for business here in Point Pleasant. I know the mayor of Point Pleasant is here sitting Point Pleasant Beach is sitting right here, um, and he will be the greatest advocate for the shore. We were here a couple of weeks ago. He said, you got to come back um, because the beach will be open. So here we are, Mayor, keeping a promise. Um, behind me right now on my left is the head of the Destination Marketing Organization, DMOs, Lori Pepinella. Sorry. Um, it's their job to market this campaign. On my right is Congressman Chris Smith, who is our biggest advocate for the Jersey Shore and for rebuilding. Without the help of our congressman, we never would have gotten the aid we needed to begin our rebuilding. And of course, on my right also, our federal partners both on the right, is the head of the United States SBA for the area, Al Titone. I want to thank you all for coming here today and allowing us to tell a great story. I'd be remiss if I also didn't point out members of my staff, the head of the, uh, the executive director of travel and tourism, with no small job these days, is Grace Hanlon right here, and also Liz McKay, who is the head of our um, small business advocacy program. We have in this room right now everything we need to make a successful marketing campaign, except for one piece, and that is the campaign itself. Um, so the campaign itself is right behind us. I have a, a tag on here. It's show your love for the Jersey Shore. I get thousands of phone calls a week about how we can help people rebuild in New Jersey. And in the short term, we can help rebuild in New Jersey by doing one simple thing. Come to the Jersey Shore for Valentine's Day. You will be surprised at all the businesses that are open. I have made an effort in the last uh, three months to go to those businesses. Friday was a, the greatest day of, I think, my campaign. I got to visit three Jersey Shore chocolate shops. Um, they are open for business and looking for you to buy their fudge and their chocolates for your favorite partner, friend, wife, spouse, girlfriend, or boyfriend. I encourage you to pick up some Jersey Shore chocolate. I encourage you to do what you can do to help the people in this devastated area. And that is to come, keep the economy moving, visit the Jersey Shore now, because it is open for business all along the Jersey Shore. Monmouth Ocean County, we know, was hit pretty hard. We know that they will struggle to come back. Um, but we need you to listen to us as we open these businesses one at, one at a time. We need you to go out and visit these businesses as they open one at a time. I also, make an, um, I also would be remiss if I didn't note that Cape May County and Atlantic County are open for business. They had very little damage. We need you to remember that they are open for business when you make your summer, um, uh, your summer reservations because you can do day trips here. We have some overnight hotels available here, but we have open for business, very little impact um, on the Jersey Shore when it comes to overnight stays in Atlantic County and Ocean County. Now, what is this program? This program is standing right behind us. It's very easy. Show your love for the Jersey Shore. Come and spend your money at the Jersey Shore. Pick up the phone and find out if your favorite place is open for business. And if it is, the best thing you can do for us right now is to go and visit those places, like Jenkinson's. How does it work? Well, thanks to our federal partners, the United States SBA, they've come up with a marketing campaign like what you see right here. They have shipped that marketing campaign out to all of our destination marketing organizations. That's how we do things in New Jersey. The Travel and Tourism Group comes up with a marketing campaign, leverages a short number of dollars to a larger campaign, 
by reaching out to each one of these destination marketing organizations. So the SBA has provided the campaign itself. We've pushed that campaign out through Facebook, Twitter, emails, other um, events like this to leverage a small amount of dollars to a larger campaign. Um, you know how busy and how important travel and tourism is to New Jersey. It's a $38 billion business. Sometimes we call it the third largest industry in the state of New Jersey. The Jersey Shore is a large and impactful piece of that. We need to maintain our level um, at the Jersey Shore. We need to keep our numbers up at the Jersey Shore in day trips and overnight stays. This is one part of that campaign, reminding people that we are open for business to show their love for the Jersey Shore. We're also doing a couple other things. I'd be remiss if I didn't point out, get taking this opportunity to show that as part of our business campaign, Jersey Shore State of Resilience has already put up banners in Union Station dur during the inauguration. If you walked into Union Station, you saw a huge banner saying New Jersey, State of Resilience, choose New Jersey. If you were lucky enough, to go to Super Bowl, you saw kiosks, buses, trolleys, and taxi cabs with State of Resilience, Choose New Jersey signs. If you're interested enough to go to Chicago at Bio International in um, March, you will see State of Resilience, New Jersey, Choose New Jersey signs also all over the, all over the Chicago area. We want to thank our partners at Choose New Jersey for funding that because people want to help so we got a lot of requests for what can I do in the billboard business, and this is what we've developed, a state of resilience campaign. Um, we have also want to thank Cable and Comcast for developing a 15-second spot, which we will begin placing over the next couple of months, just to get people talking about the Jersey Shore and Jersey specifically in a positive way. Again, funded not by taxpayer dollars, but by an independent nonprofit called Choose New Jersey. Next week, I'll be going to Montreal, Canada, because I bet some of our listeners don't know that Canadians are our number one visitor, overnight visitors in New Jersey during the summer shore season. Um, I'll be in Montreal announcing the Jersey Shore is open for business and trying to attract people for overnight stays to Atlantic City, Atlantic County, Cape May County, Ocean County, and Monmouth County as part of our efforts to increase our overnight stays. And then, of course, we're going to continue working on the State of Resilience campaign and show your love for the Jersey Shore campaign right here. It's a great campaign. It's a great opportunity for you to step up and help out the people of the Jersey Shore. The message today is really quite simple. We are rebuilding. We are rebuilding faster than anyone ever thought we would be able to do. We're going to continue rebuilding. We're going to do it stronger, faster, and safer.